Um, all right, this is Russ Curtis, counseling professor. I want to talk to you about the cross-cultural commonalities of near-death experiences. I've talked about this before, but I'll just repeat. The, the column on the left is talking about just commonalities of near-death experiences. Uh, this was from an academic article, so um, uh, qualitative analysis of similar experiences. Then on the right, we'll talk about how they don't differ much, uh, depending on your, your religious, spiritual background, uh, where you're from. So some of the commonalities, uh, people experience being in a dark tunnel, traveling to a very brilliant, bright light that's not hard to look at. In that process, feeling unconditional love and acceptance and warmth, complete, complete peace and tranquility, weightlessness and effortless movement. Feeling the presence of others, sometimes loved ones that had already passed, even pets. Being in the presence of a loving, kind, wise, and humorous being of lion, being of a light. Uh, some people call this God. Some people call this uh, Christ. Some people call this whatever their kind of a spiritual ascended master was. Uh, also, they experience telepathy. There's no talking, but they're communicating perfectly. They also understand the emotion being felt. So it's more than just words and cognitive. Profound connection and understanding, and there's no judgment whatsoever. Even in the life review, it's almost like a, a, a sp an athlete or a musician reviewing their performance and seeing how they can improve. All right. So, but that in this study, and, and I'll give you a, a reference here for uh, Jeffrey Long in an article I just recently read by him, and they talked about how non-Western Indies, and by non-Western they're talking about more um, with Western Indies uh, folks that are of more uh, Jewish Christianity heritage, that they have similar uh, with folks from other uh, uh, cultural upbringings and religious backgrounds, okay, such as Islam. And what they were talking about is that it's strikingly similar, uh, the commonalities. In this one with 19 Iranian Muslim uh, Indies experience that were identified, that was not heavily influenced by cultural variations, including prior, prior religious or spiritual beliefs. This other one, eight Muslim Indies, the structure and content of the near-death experience for many non-Western Muslim communities are largely similar to those reported in Western Indie literature. So I look forward to hearing your comments on this. I want to say for the students out there, this is a rich area to study. And I think it's a very important area for academia to get into and study this. We already do qualitative analyses. And the more we can kind of compile, the more we can look to see similarities and differences. So a little bit of a charge for those of you all that are looking for good paper topics or dissertation topics. All right, let me know your comments on this. We'll talk to you on the next video. Take good care.